Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll be doing some sunflower nails. So let's get started. So um, first, I'll be doing like the base. So I decided to go with like a light purple as like the background color since I think it looks really good with like the yellow shades and yeah, I already like that one. It's also almost um, leaning towards a white is shade so it doesn't really stand out that much as in like it's not too bright and it doesn't take over the whole thing and um, it took two coats to um, be full coverage and um, I let it dry quite a bit before I decided to go in with like my art since I don't really like it when there's still a chance that the polish will like move a bit and get weird. So I probably let it dry for around 20 minutes to half an hour, half an hour, which is a good amount of time so it can dry. And first I'll be drawing like the leaf stuff from like the flower and yeah, I did this on my thumb, on my index finger and my pinky since then you have like two different things going on on your nails and I didn't really want to have like some flowers just being very much out there I still want to have it a bit more subtle and really put more effort into those and instead of having like a lot of more smaller flowers if you get what I need what I mean but right here I'm drawing on like the leaves and yeah I used like three different green shades so it would like have some more dimension otherwise it would be a bit boring I think and yeah the leafies were just like drawing a line and then having it go a bit rounder from there on and here and there I drew like a few smaller ones and here I'll be going in with like a lighter one to have like a bit more of a highlight to it and yeah mostly just going in the middle of like the whole thing and yeah, I feel like it really bright brightened it up, which I really like. And right now I'm using like a very light yellow, which I'll be going in with very lightly, so it doesn't really like reach opaqueness but just this tiny bit of a hue to it so yeah then it's just like a kind of a ghost of like the whole color and I feel like when you do it like that it doesn't really have these harsh lines and blends in a bit more and right now I'm I'll be doing like the sunflower which, uh, first of all, I'm going in with like the middle part, which is like the brown part with the seats. And yeah, it was a bit tricky to get like the right size and shape because I was scared since this flower has like petals and all that it would get a bit too um, big, but it didn't. This was actually the right uh, size for me. Maybe it's a bit big against like the petals, but we're, we aren't doing real realism right now, so. And with orange, I decided to have like a bit more of an orange hue to it and I went over the brown with the orange very streakily 
and very lightly as well so it wouldn't get fully opaque since that wasn't really what um, what I was going for and yeah then it would get a bit too bright so yeah for now right now I'm going in with like a yellow to create the petals this is actually the darker yellow so you have like a bit more dimension you have like the petals in the back and in the front so you have like two different colors on my ring finger I actually went in first with like the lighter yellow but I decided with this one it might get a be uh, might be a bit easier if I go in first with like the darker color so you don't really have like the struggle of putting it there later and I feel like it turned out root way prettier like this and easier and uh, yeah I just drew here and there are those petals which will be mostly covered up as well with like the lighter yellow but that doesn't really matter since it's just for a bit in back to have like this darker part to it And right now the brown part gets to like dry a bit more so yeah when I go over it later it will be almost completely dry or at least dry to the touch so it wouldn't like do weird things and I also let these petals dry for quite a bit so they wouldn't like uh, go weird and with like still be a bit wet which um, is pretty annoying when you try to paint on other nail polish so that's And right now I'm creating like very little small dots with a very dark brown. I didn't cover up like the whole circle, just like a few spots here and there. And I would really recommend a small brush to get like a good um, small dot. And also not too much polish on your brush because that can also be a bit in the way when you try to dot them on. But right now I'm creating like the lighter petals, which are the lighter yellow. Later on I'll be making the difference in color a bit less, since right now it's very dark and light yellow. And yeah, right now it's just the very start of like the whole detail. But as you can see, I kind of went in a pointy way and then round them off towards the middle and cr ended them in like a smaller part right there. So they wouldn't be very big and you can still see a bit of the darker yellow in there as well. So. You can also see that with my other part of the flower, the flower is way more done, but I wanted to try out what I was going for first on that one, since right now I'm just filming it and then I can't. Well, it's a bit less handy if I go back and forth a lot. And to have like a bit more of a fade, I went in with like a with the darker yellow again to have like a bit more of a darker part at the start of the petal which will create like this kind of fade and yeah it was just taking up a really 
small amount of polish on, on the brush so it wouldn't be too thick and it would also kind of blend that way. And right now I'm just brightening up the leaves in the back so they are a bit more lighter that way and blend in a bit more and with this darker one I'm actually outlining the underside of the petals so they have like a bit more dimension in there which I find really cool since right now then there's like a kind of shadowy part to there as well yeah it might be a bit tricky with like a bigger brush so go in with a very small brush if you have one because that's way easier and with the orange I'm actually darkening the bit around the brown a bit more so you get like a bit more of a fade and then with like the lighter one I'm going in right away after the orange to have it blend out a bit more and with my very light yellow I make these little highlights in there so there's a bit more of a lighter part to the petals in the front so they aren't dark because right now they kind of look the same as the petals in the back and then now you have like these highlights in the front and I think overall it really turned out pretty nicely and I think I should definitely do more of these kinds of designs since I really like the little details and yeah but This is already the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!